Hi there everyone, welcome to Engineering with Pritam. In this quick video of PTC Creo, we will talk about how to import non-native data in PTC Creo. So a lot of time what happened whenever we import non-native data in PTC Creo, we saw and we find that there is no data planes, no coordinate system exists. For example, let me click here on open and let me try to import a non-native data. For example, uh, this IGS file and now let me click here on import now if I click OK here you can see we only have this coordinate system available and that's all we do not see any plane so the disadvantage of not having all the datum plane and other thing is that first of all you do not have all the views available and then if I go to file new and then drawing let me create a drawing without any format and if I place a view here you can see we do not have all the views available which is front, top, left, right, back so because of the data planes are not present so we do not see any view and that's how guys we may not able to easily create projection view so let's understand how we can avoid such situation by a simple step so while importing non-native data in PTC Creo, um, you need to take care of following thing. Okay, so let's import this data again. This time, uh, what we need to do is we need to use template. Okay, so previously we haven't checked this option. Now we have, and then I would say properly define uh, the IGS model type or non-native data type. So if it is assembly, then you should choose assembly and if it is part, then choose part. Then um, here you can see for the more customization available, simply click on details and then um, you can actually customize the way you want to import the data. So let's say if you know already the import type, then you can select geometry, facet or curve. So I would like to keep it automatic so that, uh, you know, the system can detect itself. But a lot of time when we already know our data type, uh, we can specify because sometimes system also may misunderstood our data type. Then um, here we actually have clicked on use template, but from here we can actually define, let's say you haven't properly defined your template type. So you can select, let's say you are working in inches, uh, pound second, so you can change template from here. Similarly, let's say your data type is surface, then you can, um, you know, choose other things. For example, if you want to keep B spline surface or you want to perform G2 curvature fix. So you have all the options available. Now let me close it and let's hit OK. And this time here you can see we have all the data planes available. And one more thing I would like to show you. Now if I go to view here you can see we have all the views available so no more difficulty in producing or creating projection view in drawing now uh, let's talk about one more situation where you already have imported your non-native model and you already have started working on it then uh, in such scenario what you can do so let's say this is my non-native data and let me start doing something here Let's try to create this extrude. Now create an axis and let's create a pattern. So we need to drag this axis upward and this downward. Now let's create a pattern. Okay. And because I did a lot of operation here in this model, um, it is very difficult for me uh, to get started once again. So in such scenario, what we can do, we just need to drag this handle till the coordinate system. And now I need to click on plane. So that's how guys we can create these data plane automatically. Now we do not need to worry about planes. The only drawback this process have is that uh, we will not able to create views automatically okay but at least now we have got uh, these uh, reference datum plane 
and we obviously now can use them uh, in taking reference since all these datum planes exist before any feature that we have created in this part and that's how guys you can import your data in ptc creo although there are two or three more method of importing data for example if you go to model and then uh, after creating a after creating a empty template um, you can go to model and then from here import you can import your igs similarly uh, it is very easy to import data in similarly it is very easy and similarly you can import your data in assembly as well so uh, that's all guys from my side in this video i hope you find this video helpful and informational if you have got any kind of doubt related to importing non-native data in ptc creo then please do let us know in comment down below and i will try to respond to you as soon as possible till then take care and bye bye